Now check on the tropics and we head out there along the Atlantic down into the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico. A few showers and thunderstorms, but our main concern this evening continues to be a large storm here off the east coast. Not a tropical storm, not a hurricane, not tropical in nature. It's just an area of low pressure, also a strong area of low pressure in the upper atmosphere. But with it, we, he, we see winds at times up to 80 miles per hour. And unlike a hurricane where most of the power is right around the center, we have strong winds extending way out, hundreds and hundreds of miles out from this storm. As a matter of fact, some of the wind gusts up to 78 miles per hour around Chatham. And the problem with that is we get the northeasterly flow causing some very high tides. And just to look at what it looks like earlier today, this was earlier today, before it got worse. A lot of folks up there, uh, we understand, say this is a, one of the worst storms they've ever seen. And as you can see, with waves coming in like this, there's going to be a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and show you the specifics of what's going on. Storm warnings, they are in effect here from Eastport, Maine, as we head down through Cape Cod on into Long Island Sound and south as we head toward Cape Hinlop in New Jersey. And of course, to so the south of that, gale warnings are in effect, but storm warnings indicate very strong seas too. Some of the seas out, out here, anywhere from 40 to 60 feet, and then you get closer to shore and the seas are a little bit less. But coastal flood warnings are in effect all along the east coast with high tides and strong winds continuing to push waves up. As you saw, there will be lots of beach erosion and some problems. The power is out in many areas out here. Has the latest report for wind gusts up to 60 to 65 miles per hour, a little less as we head south and west and up toward Boston at 30 to 40 miles per hour. And the problem will be high tides with the highest tides at these particular times. If you can't call us, or if you can't watch us, you can call us. Here's the phone complete update coming for you at the top of the hour. What will this do? What is it doing? And have some pictures out of this area. Good evening, I'm Jeff Marr on the Weather Channel Forecast Center. A major storm is lashing the northeast coast of the United States with very high winds and some very high towering waves as well. Looking at the satellite picture, here is the storm spiraling around and a lot of very high surf, particularly up here in parts of uh, New England, particularly down on Cape Cod, also Long Island getting a lot of water overwash. There's a lot of coastal flood warnings out as well as storm warnings, gale warnings for New York Harbor. It's just a very touch and go situation in this part of the country. Here's some of the wind gusts that we've been talking about. 63 miles per hour, that's the last one we got out here at uh, Nantucket Island, but we're not getting any more reports from them because all the power is out on that island. As we head up toward Cape Cod, we've been getting reports at Provincetown of wind gusts upwards of 64, 65 miles per hour. At Chatham, Massachusetts, wind gusts of 78 miles per hour peak a little bit earlier. Taking a look at the radar, one band of showers all along the main coast all the way down toward Boston and down toward Providence. As you can see, it goes into motion. We've had several bands of precipitation moving inland, the latest of which looks like it's approaching the Cape and also Nantucket Island, and there could be some very strong winds in that as well. Let's take a look at some pictures we got a little bit earlier out of this vicinity. These shot out on Cape Cod near Chatham, Massachusetts. You can see the water at this particular house was already going into the house and massive beach erosion going on in this part of the country too. Some folks down just to uh, check out the, the high wind and the high surf, but that's not really advised. Uh, we've already had one report of a person drowning being caught out on the open beach uh, near in, uh, on a beach in Rhode Island. Joining me now is John Hope, and John, uh, we've got quite a storm here. Not really a tropical system, but uh, quite a storm nonetheless. Well, not tropical, but does have a lot of characteristics. Uh, you know, we got winds in excess of hurricane force on uh, Cape Cod, 78 miles an hour at Chatham. We had gusts, a lot of gusts of 60 and higher, and some very high seas. Uh, the tide itself up maybe about five feet above normal, but then breakers on top of that, 25 feet, and that's enough to bring water right into the houses that you saw there on Cape Cod. Now, when you think back in history, this is being compared to the blizzard of uh, 78, and also, if you go back even further, uh, the Ash Wednesday storm in 1962. Okay, in the blizzard of 78, uh, I think some of the uh, tidal destruction is going to be very similar this time to what it was in, in 1978. Now, the Ash Wednesday storm in uh, 1962 was a bit farther south, and it persisted a little longer than this one's going to persist, although this is going to be long enough because all this erosion started yesterday, continued through today, and will continue through tomorrow. And we're seeing high surf far afield from where this storm is, all the way down to Florida, 
and even down as far as Puerto Rico. So a very wide-ranging storm system, and it looks like it's going to be there for a while. Any signs that it may be weakening at all? It may be weakening just a little bit, but it still looks very well organized to me around the center, and I'm not going to say it is weakened until I see this center becoming less defined than it is now, very well defined still. Okay, thank you, John, and stay with us here on the Weather Channel. We'll be giving you updates on this storm off the East Coast, as well as some rough weather in other parts of the country. Let's go to Janetta Jones to talk about Eroded. it. And the folks on the East Coast have had one more more day to deal with a strong storm that's right off of our map here. It's a low. It's like a hurricane, but it's not really structured like a hurricane, but still top winds 85 miles per hour. And we have had continual coastal flooding on down into Florida. This is what it looked like around West Palm Beach in Florida. Boom! How do you like that? About a thousand miles away from the storm and still the seas were high, waves way above what they normally are for this time of year, and coastal flooding has continued in addition to all the beach erosion. But I guess the good news is that storm is moving off to the north, and our conditions right along the coast will improve over the next several days. You're watching the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Now, your local forecast, accurate and dependable from the Weather Channel. But first, we want to take one further look at that uh, very important Atlantic storm, which is still causing some flooding down the coast in Puerto Rico. And, of course, all the damage was a result of this little guy out here, which is still packing some pretty powerful winds. They sent a plane out a number of hours ago, and it still has winds of 85 miles per hour. They're not classifying it as a tropical system, but it sure looks like one. In fact, we see what represents an eye right about here. It's a tightly packed little system. We hope the people on the Nova Scotia coast are uh, perhaps battening down the hatches because we think this is taking a beeline for the Nova Scotia coast, and there could be some gusty winds later tonight along with some heavy rains. Elsewhere, quite a bit of action happening elsewhere across the country. We'll take a look at that. Of course, the winter storm continuing to roar through the northern Great Plains, record-breaking amounts of snow in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. The good news there is the visibility has come up a little bit.